Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys returning, for those of you guys that are new, welcome, my name is Pinky. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. So, I do wanna let you guys know, after doing some work and some grounding, um, I started to experience some visions and this is something that happens very uh, regularly. Uh, it could be for different areas in my life. Um, but it's been a very long time since I had uh, visions of this particular person. And it was a person that I was very spiritually connected in the past uh, with. Uh, it was a relationship. And um, for some reason, it just, you know, I started having these visions. And I, at this point in my life, um, I could care less. I know it, it comes off very rude or mean, um, but there is a major backstory to that. Anyways, my point to this is that uh, when I was trying to push through um, certain emotions, I came to the realization of how many people out there um, perhaps, you know, wonder about their ex, wonder if they've moved on. Uh, if they're happy, if they made the right choice, et cetera, et cetera. Could be a multitude of reasons why you're watching this. So if you are curious, perhaps curiosity, perhaps for some of you guys, there is still some type of attachment or hopefulness of the situation. I figured this would be a good video for some of you guys, whether it's to offer you some type of closure, whatever the situation may be. So this reading is going to be for all the zodiac signs. We're going to look into if your person, your ex-partner or ex-lover, uh, if they've moved on or if they're still holding on to certain attachments with you. So we're going to begin, like I said, with uh, we're going to start off with Aries all the way to Pisces. So uh, welcome for you guys that are new. Like I said, for those of you guys that are returning, welcome back, my lovelies. If you guys are interested in any of our services that we provide, you can find the link on the description box below of our online store. All right, let's get into it. <clears throat> Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, please step forward. Allow us to see clearly and concisely what is unfolding. Allow me to see clearly and concisely. Allow me to see here, sense beyond. Receive the messages for each one of the zodiac signs, beginning with Aries, ending with Pisces, and everyone in between. Let's give them some clarity. Let's give them some insight in regards to their ex-partner or ex-lover. All right. So we're going to begin here with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Have they moved on? Has their ex-partner or ex-lover moved on from Aries? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right. Let's get to the nitty-gritty. Here we go. All right. So we have the Five of Cups, the King of Wands, Five of Wands, and the six of wands okay so off the bat i can clearly see that there is a bit of holding back there is a feeling of still mourning the loss or the connection of this relationship that you had with them i think that a lot of things played into the breakup or separation for some of you guys there could have been um other people outside interference uh this is a person that genuinely loves attention this is a person that has a very wandering eye and they're very connected to their ego so there could have been a situation where at some point they were really wanting or desiring to reach out to you Aries but their pride and ego got in the way and I feel like this is a few times that it's happened so if you've experienced um you know, your phone ringing, you answer, and there's no one on the other side, but you can hear someone breathing. Or um, people creating different accounts or looking at your social medias and you don't really know or recognize that account, um, know and understand that it's them. I see them still connected emotionally to this connection. Um, and like I said, there is a feeling of loss there is a feeling of definitely missing you or thinking about you but like i said this person vibrates uh very very strongly to um ego and pride and i think that that's what played a major role that and the fact that at some point when in the relationship 
um, they started getting either a lot of attention or a lot of notoriety or perhaps they weren't used to that type of attention and they were very quick to entertain that. So that's the reason why uh, some some type of, you know, separation or ending came between you. I do see, like I said, outside interference. I'm going to be honest. I feel like this person has definitely not moved on. They sh They put on a show. So if they made it seem like they've moved on or like they're dating or, you know, they keep showing people online that they're dating or seeing, it's a show. It's it's what they're trying the best they can to portray, even though we can see clearly here that there is an inner struggle going on with them, that they haven't completely mourned or moved on from this relationship, but they're trying to put a front. Let's see what the Oracle card says here for you guys for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to their ex-partner or ex-lover. And we have, I scared myself that day. So I feel very strongly like perhaps at the end of the relationship or at the end of the connection, they were acting a bit out of character. Perhaps um, they were very cold or they were very distant and mean. Um, when dealing with them and it's again because they're very attached to their pride and their ego um, so they've clearly haven't moved on but they're choosing to portray a certain type of life like things are going great for them even though it's not so have they moved on no the answer they have not they're still holding on uh, to what could have been all right, now let's go with Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What are the messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to their ex-lover or ex-partner? Have they moved on from Taurus? Have they moved on from Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? All right, here we go. We have the Death card, Transformation, Ace of Pentacles. I do see them. Oh, wow. Okay, so what they're showing me here is uh, yes, this person has uh, moved on. For some of you guys, this could be a person that's already in a committed relationship or uh, recently started a relationship. Um, however, I see that this person has a wandering eye. This is the type of energy of, you know, the more attention they get, they just can't help themselves. I think that it has a lot to do with the insecurities that they carry about themselves or how they were raised, um, they just didn't feel understood or they didn't feel like emotional support was there. So they do crave and need attention. This is the type of energy that I get when we're dealing with people that are in the entertainment industry, uh, people that just love to get attention. They just can't help it. Um, not They don't have to necessarily be in the <laughs> entertainment industry, but that's the type of energy that they give. So this is definitely a person that has a tendency of continuing uh, to embrace new options only because they don't want to miss out or they don't want to uh, miss a... They're, it's the type of person that gets in a relationship and then they start to wonder or question if they want to be in that relationship because there could be something better out there for me. That's the type of energy I'm sensing. So I feel like even though they may still be or recently got into a relationship, it is a very not necessarily a healthy relationship. Why? Because they're still carrying those unhealed parts of themselves and flirting or getting themselves into trouble in relationships is something that is going to be very prominent in their life unless they heal this side to them, which obviously they're not. Um, but I, I do see them that they, you know, emotionally disconnected from this connection. They've moved on. Um, are they happy? Uh, no, I don't see happiness here. I see a person that, like I said, one day wants commitment. They want to be in a relationship, but they also crave and need attention. Um, ego is a big thing here for sure. And this is a person that definitely loves attention. So as you guys can see here with the six of wands looking towards the five of wands which is you know the battle for attention the desire um they basically rejoice in attention or um being the center of attention so it could be a bit of a selfish person here 
What is the Oracle card message here for Taurus in regards to this ex-partner or ex-lover? If you guys enjoy these readings, definitely let me know. Comment below so I know to do more of these for you guys. And I have, I know more than you might think. So, I feel like this person watches you, Taurus. I feel like they have a tendency of, especially if there's children involved, I feel like they have or they feel like they still have some type of control over you because of the children that are involved. Um, and they have a tendency of wanting to rattle your cage sometimes only to see if they still have some type of control over you. So if you are dealing with them because there's children involved, I would highly encourage you to um, try the best you can never to react uh, when being provoked, even if they can be petty sometimes, um, it is important to, um, understand that when they get the best of us and they, we give this reaction, this big reaction, um, it's almost like they feed off of that. It, it's something that they crave because it gives them the feeling like they still have control over you or control over your life. Um, so just be mindful of that. All right, my lovelies. Let's go now to Gemini. All right, let's look into Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Allow us to see clearly and concisely if the ex-partner or ex-lover of Gemini has moved on. Have they moved on from this connection? Give us clarity, give us insight. All right, here we go. We have the Queen of Cups, Nine of Cups. Eight of Wands and the full card. Wow, very interesting here. So yes, they are definitely still emotionally invested in this relationship. I feel that for some of you guys, it's almost like there was a need, a higher calling for you guys to separate or break up. I feel that there was a lot of unhealed trauma that needed to happen. Either you or your ex-partner needed to heal through some traumas. The Nine of Cups does indicate to me the hope and, and the desire. So I feel like for some of you guys, you're holding on to hope or desire um, that they will come back around or that they will uh, want to reconnect or reconcile with you. However, the Eight of Wands leads me to believe that passion, physical um, is something that may bring them back. So this is kind of the situation where you break up or separate and they hit you up with random night. Hey, let's hang out. And you end up having sex. And then you think that something may come from that, but it's almost as a form of not wanting to fully commit. So it's kind of like gaslighting. It's kind of like, um, allowing you to think that something can come from the relationship or that can we can revisit the relationship type of energy. But with the Eight of Wands and the Fool, I feel like there's no real commitment here. So I feel like they are emotionally still invested or emotionally still connected with you. They're not fully wanting to move on at this point, but I'm going to be honest, they are embracing new beginnings. So what this means is if they reach out, if they try to contact you, you may already be in the situation, by the way, where you guys are hanging out, you know, spending time, and then all of a sudden they stop communicating and then they communicate again. The reason for this is because they are keeping their options open. However, when they feel like they need that emotional support or that emotional connection, they come back to you. So I'm going to be honest, if you find yourself in this situation, I would highly encourage you to speak your mind and be completely honest and transparent about what you want. If you're wanting to reconcile, make sure to let them know that that's what you're hoping and wanting. If that's not what they want, they need to keep it pushing. Because I feel like you're holding on to this desire, this want to, you know, to see the, the wish of you come true. Um... But wands, the eight of wands and the fool indicates to me passion, lust, um, something that is not stable. It is like it's exciting in the moment. I don't want you to get wrapped up in the moment, Gemini, and thinking that things are going to change when they are, in fact, still entertaining other people. So do that with what you will. 
Let's see what the Oracle card is here for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is that? Their partner I want to say at this point in time. And we have, I am different now. So again, the Queen of Cups, eight of, uh, sorry, nine of Cups is the desire, the want to reconcile, to have that bond or to revisit the connection. But at the same time, they're asking you, are you really accepting them for who they are? Or is this, you know, did you, are you still holding on to the version of who you thought they were initially in the beginning? Because I am different now speaks to me about their state of mind. They have changed their state of mind and not necessarily for the better because eight of wands and full is chasing your passions. It's chasing your desires, wanting to see what's out there and exploring. Um, so again, I just don't want, I don't want them to lead you on and I hope this gives you clarity, Gemini. All right, now let's go to Cancer. Let's see what's going on with Cancer. Has Cancer's partner or ex-partner, ex-lover, have they moved on? Give us clarity. Give us insight for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Has their partner moved on or ex-partner moved on? Okay, so what they're showing me here is this is a person that likes to, it's like they come off as very sensitive, very understanding. This could have been initially your first impressions of this person. However, this is a person that is very immature and it gives to me manipulative type of energy. So this is a person that knows how to manipulate and uh, manipulate more than anything your emotions. It's almost like trying to make you feel a certain way in order for you or in order for them to get a reaction out of you. Um, this is energy that is speaking to me about, I am so amazing. I am so understanding in the beginning of the connection, but then I pull back, I detach, I ghost you and you're going bananas or you're going crazy in your head thinking what happened was it something i did was it something that i could have done better and it's not what it really is is that this person is very good at manipulating to get what they want four of pentacles indicates to me a person that is completely emotionally unavailable um, especially with the star the star card to me signifies um you know attraction fame um, attention more than anything and I feel like they give you this is the type of person that over gives right and they make themselves to be like the perfect partner you ever wanted and then they start to detach they start to pull away and become very cold and very distant it's a form of manipulation because um, they know that you're going to be holding on to the illusion of who you thought they were and perhaps for some of you guys even put up with things that you would normally put up with because this person has you hanging by their words or what they promise or what they pretend it to be. Um, so what they're telling me here is, has this person moved on? Yes, they've moved on, but I feel like moved on completely uh, to the point where they started another relationship. I don't see that happening. I do see them being more physical more than anything. But again, I feel like a lot of their connections is like an illusion, uh, something that they pretend um, to sell, basically selling themselves as Mr. Perfect or Miss Perfect. Uh, and they do this not only with you, but with everyone else they've ever dated. So it's almost like you don't really get the, the real person here. Um Yeah, because it's almost like they are hiding their true desires and motivations behind this facade of a very understanding, very loving, very nurturing type of person, when in reality, they know that they are emotionally unavailable, like they just don't, they can't give that part of themselves to you, because they're just not able to, 
um, either because they are too immature or they lack to uh, take self-responsibility. Um, and this is a person that craves a lot of attention. Okay, what is the oracle message here for cancer? Oracle message here for cancer. We are not right for each other. Yeah, I feel like this person, I'm going to be honest, you guys, I feel like this person has a tendency of doing that with everyone. It's like they sell them a dream. And the moment that things get real, they run away or pull back or detach completely, having you chase them in circles because they know that they're just not available. But they'll keep you uh, holding on to hope uh, because they, they crave this. They like the attention, especially the attention you give them or gave them at some point. All right. Now let's get to Leo. Let's see what's going on with Leo. Has Leo's partner or person, ex-lover or ex-partner, have they moved on? Give us clarity. Give us insight. Allow us to see clearly and concisely if they've moved on at this point in time. All right. We have the Seven of Wands, the World card, the Queen of Wands. And the hanged man. Okay. Okay, so what I'm getting for some of you guys is if there was like a separation or some type of breakup, um, I feel like this person is going to be rushing into some type of higher commitment. Um, but they're doing this ad, as a defensive mechanism. And I feel like the reason for it is because you're coming out here in their cards, which indicates to me they obviously have not moved on from you. And they could see you um, strong. They can see you strong. They can see you as not a weak person. Perhaps their perception, the perception they had of you is completely different from how you've reacted to the separation or breakup. It's like they see you doing you and it's something that is very bothersome to them. So I see them trying to put it on display, trying to pretend like they moved on or they're in a commitment or even engaged or they may even rush into getting married with someone um and again i feel like it's more than like i don't see marriage i see a union so it could indicate like moving in with someone um but i feel like the, the reason why they're doing it is to make it seem like the breakup or separation didn't hurt them like they've moved on like they're doing great even if they stepped out of the relationship dealing with someone else like it, it wasn't what they thought it was going to be however they feel like they have to continue um this play the the display that they're putting um and again like i said they are definitely not they were not expecting for you to be either distant or like you would back up the words that you said so as an example if you said you weren't going to put up with bullshit and you walked away they assume that at some point you would come back and I see quite the opposite. So it's like their version of who, how they seen you completely changed. And it's something that they were definitely not expecting. So they feel like they have to, like they've, it's kind of like a situation where you break up with them or they break up with you and you go about your business and they go about their business and they start to see that you're posting on social media or whatever, living your best life, you're moving on, you're doing or focusing at work, whatever it is that you're doing. And it's like they can, they cannot help to check in or look at what you're doing only to make sure that they put on display that they're living a better life than you. So this to me seems like a person that is very regretful. Um, but also a person that is extremely like, they're not authentic. Um, they feel like they always have to one up you. And that could be a sensation that you've even like experienced even being with them in a relationship. It's always like competition was always there. It's, it's in their nature. And it's like, if Leo is doing great, well, I'm going to make sure that they know that I'm doing amazing, even though they're not. Let's look at the oracle message here. What is the oracle message for Leo's ex or ex-lover? We have, I fantasize about you. Yeah, because clearly 
clearly uh leo it's like they understand that they're not going to be able to do better than you they understand that you were it like you were the prize and though they didn't see it that way now they understand now their perception of you completely changed and it's like well wait i was just playing like come back leo it's like they completely were not expecting how things progressed. They didn't think it was going to go this far, basically. Um, and in that, because of their pride and because of their ego, they're willing to sacrifice by being unhappy but pretending like they have to maintain the image of them and that they're strong and that they're moving on even though they clearly have not moved on so i feel sorry for them to be honest there's nothing like there's nothing more sadder than to see a person trying to pretend to have a happy life when they are clearly not happy but anyways all right now let's go to virgo sun moon rising venus has Virgo's ex or ex-lover moved on? Have they moved on? Give us clarity. Give us insight for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Has Virgo's ex-lover or ex-partner moved on? Give us clarity. Give us insight. All right, here we go. We have the Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Chariot. Okay. Virgo, I feel like for a lot of you guys, um, there was something in this connection or in this relationship where you knew that you weren't being completely fulfilled. You knew you were aware. It's um, what I'm hearing. <laughs> this is going to sound so horrible, but what I'm hearing, it's almost like really like I downgraded giving you an opportunity and like they blew it that's the type of energy that i'm getting here so i feel like at some point you were aware that this relationship or that this partner wasn't completely in the same state of mind as you or perhaps you kind of you were kind of out of their league in some way some shape or form um and even through that there was a feeling of understanding that you perhaps hadn't felt this strong or this type of like connection or bond with someone that you stood longer than you should have in this relationship or in this connection um because to be honest i see you as like unfulfilled or like even being in the relationship it was like you knew um that there was something in this relationship that just it wasn't going to work out however um, they are showing me here that uh, this person has, you know, for some of you guys, um, I'm getting two different scenarios here. For others of you, it could have been that you waited a very long time for this person to commit to you and they just were not willing to commit. And then all of a sudden when the separation or breakup happened, they happily commit themselves to someone else um, and they're willing to go all the way with them. Um, even being a bit irrational in how quick this relationship or commitment becomes. Um, but again, I feel like there is a part of you, Virgo, that feels hurt or that feels betrayed or that feels like they were ungrateful because I feel like you overlooked a lot of things in this partner or in this person. Um, that to the core of you, to the depths of you, you knew that they weren't completely 100% what you wanted, yet you were willing to give them the opportunity. And I feel that's where the hurt comes in. I feel like you felt you were let down because you allowed certain things to slide and they still weren't willing to commit. Um, and moving out of that energy, I see them rushing or committing to something rather quickly. I I'm going to be honest. I feel like for a lot of you Virgos, um, for some of you guys, it is you know, pain because you love them and you cared for them and you stuck around for a very long time. But for others of you, I ask you, I encourage you to really ask yourself the question, um, did you fall really for them or did you fall for the illusion of who they were, who you thought they were? 
that you fall for what they could have been. And that's what triggers you, the thought that, you know, you let a lot of things slide and you didn't hold them accountable to a lot of things and they disappointed you. And if that is your case, then wish them well, Virgo, but keep it pushing. You could do so much better. Like, um, and I feel like you already know that. So let's see what the Oracle card says here for Virgo's ex-partner or ex-lover. What is it that they're feeling at this point in time? Okay, we have, you did not break me. So I, what, what, what's coming off to me that you did not break me. Usually this is a card where the relationship has been through turmoil, like a very long time. It's a struggle on both sides, but I feel like you did not break me has more to do with pride, has more to do with like, you didn't get what you wanted Virgo because, you know, I just didn't want to give it to you. Um, but it, ha it it goes deeper than that. I feel like it has more to do with like their pride. Maybe for some of you guys, the pressure of commitment was like really strong. Maybe it's something that you often brought up. Maybe it was something that there is something within this person that the moment they felt like you wanted to push them towards something like they resisted more because it was to them. It was like, it's when I want to. Um, and I feel like this, this, you did not break me has more to do with like, you did not break my pride or you did not break me to the point of doing what you wanted me to do, Virgo. But again, I feel like this has more to do with like shadow side. It's not the healthy type of you did not break me. All right, my lovelies. Now let's go to Libra. Let's look at Libra. Has their ex-partner or ex-lover moved on? Give us clarity. Give us insight. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Have they moved on? Has their ex-lover or ex-partner moved on from Libra? Okay, here we go. We have the Hanged Man, the Hermit, Seven of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. All righty. So definitely not. They have not moved on, Libra. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you could have been dealing with a very deep type of connection. This is some heavy ass energy. This is the type of energy where if you're not spiritually elevated to this connection, it's like the universe will bring you guys together. But if you guys are not in sync, it will completely pull you towards different directions until you get it right. Um, and the reason I say that is the hanged man and the hermit are very, very spiritual cards. And when they're back to back, one of you guys in this connection had to elevate, had to step up, had to become the highest version of themselves, whether it was you or whether it was them. Um, but both of you guys acknowledge or were aware of this connection with the seven of pentacles, obviously they keep reminiscing, they keep reliving the past or they choose to stay in the past. For some of you guys, uh, this could be a person that has decided not to marry or not to commit or maybe they haven't dated in a very long time. Uh, and the reason for this is because they're still internalizing, they're still trying to figure out, they're still trying to heal certain parts of themselves um, because they still have love for you. They still have that connection and I feel that it goes both ways Libra I feel like for a lot of you guys um you could have felt this connection as well this pull this this feeling of like it almost seemed like destiny kind of brought you guys together but then you know there was no alignment there there was if anything the crashing of vibrations and the having to be pulled apart to be able to get it right on your own so that you guys can have the opportunity of reconnecting in a higher, a higher elevation, a higher vibration um, to be able to connect and give each other that that love or that nurture. I feel like for a lot of you guys, um, they stay in, in, in the revisiting, the reliving of the past, um, even to their detriment. I feel like for some of them, it's like they've completely isolated themselves or they completely choose to isolate themselves because they fear getting or going through that that pain that they felt when the separation happened. 
So what I'm hearing is for some of you guys, they are like thinking I am never going to allow anyone to hurt me this way. And I feel like it's not even, I mean, for some of you guys, it could have been that you hurt them. But what I'm saying is for a lot of you guys, um, it could have just been a situation where both of you guys were in completely different paths. Um, and I feel like there was a distinctive need to be pulled apart and it almost felt like very life changing. And I feel like from that, they understood what it is to have a deeper connection. So it kind of changed their perspective completely when it comes to relationships. This is the kind of energy where, um, and it's funny, you guys, because the reason why I decided to do this reading, like I told you guys in my intro, was, you know, certain things about um, a spiritual connection that I have very strongly. And even through many, many years, I still feel that. And it's almost like when they think or wish to connect with me, it's like they always do it for some reason. Um, it comes through very strongly. And it's funny because I'm reading for Libras and that person happens to be a Libra. <laughs> Except, um, yeah, it's kind of, uh, it, it's very, um, it's just very weird. I don't know how to explain it. But anyways, it's kind of like the type of relationship that you feel like they really, if you get it right, you get it really good. Like, you know, really good. But if you get it wrong, wrong timing, it like the type of relationship that really fucks you up. Because once you've had something very strong, very authentic, right, in the moment, and then you pull away from that and you go back to like regular relationships, like you're never going to experience that type of strong bond and connection. So it's almost like it's a beautiful thing to experience, but also... Um, you know, I don't wish it upon anyone <laughs> that is not ready because it could be very, very difficult. So anyways, yeah. All right. Let's look at the shadow Oracle cards here. The message for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right. And we have, I pretend you don't mean that much. So this could have been a situation where once the separation or breakup happened, there was no contact. Um, it was almost like they came across very cold and very distant, not necessarily because they didn't care. Obviously, from what I'm seeing here, it was a very strong spiritual connection. And sometimes you need to become cold and distant in order to protect yourself because if you actually felt the pain, it would be unbearable. And that's the type of energy that I'm sensing. So for some of you guys, if you felt like they pushed you out, they, you know, uh, completely disconnect from you or no longer contacted you. And it was like, even if you were with them for years, it almost the feeling of like, you know, it didn't matter because of the way they acted. It doesn't mean that it didn't matter. It probably meant a lot to them to the point where if they kept being around you or dealing with you, it was too painful, Libra. All right, my lovelies. Now let's go to Scorpio. All right, let's look at Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Has their ex-lover or ex-partner moved on from them? Has their ex-partner or ex-lover moved on from them? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go. Give us a clarity. Give us insight. All right. We have the chariot the world okay so immediately i can tell you guys uh yes this person moved on uh scorpio i feel like for some of you guys this person either is in a committed relationship or will soon be getting married for some of you guys they're probably already married i do see that this um i do see that this uh they're very impulsive this is a person that was extremely impulsive um, this was perhaps a person that really challenged your patience, Scorpio. Uh, but in the long run, I feel like you guys were too different. Uh, too many differences kind of pulled you away from each other. For some of you guys, it could have been people around 
or family members, um, people that were just outside of the relationship that could have affected the relationship. And I feel like there was some type of fear in regards to commitment, um, whether it was the fear of commitment or the fear of never being in a committed relationship, like never stabilizing something to get to the point of actual marriage. Um, so it could have been a relationship where they either kept pushing the marriage card or uh, they completely ran away from any type of commitment. Um, and I feel like the moment that the separation happened or the breakup happened, they kind of focus 100% on what it is that they want and they went out and got it. Um, and I do definitely see that they've clearly moved on. And I feel like for some of you Scorpios, you guys have moved on as well. What Spirit is telling you here is stop holding on to this connection or this relationship so that you can fully invest in your future or that you can fully be present in your current relationship. For some of you guys, you have a tendency of having difficulty pulling away from this connection. Try the best you can not to compare. Um, understand that sometimes in life, uh, people come into our lives not necessarily to stick around for a very long time. It could be very short lived. But even in the short living of that relationship, it could really like scar you in a positive or negative way. Um, positive would be, you know, if they were extremely good to you and you just didn't appreciate it. Uh, it teaches us, right, to learn to put our guard down, to learn to be vulnerable to learn to be present in a relationship and to appreciate and to let them know that you appreciate. If it was in the negative aspect, then it allows you to really focus the lens of your life camera to what it is that you really want and to pay attention to those flags that tell you otherwise um, to understand when it's time to fully move on. So I feel like this is uh, completely... Uh, they've moved on and perhaps for some of you guys you've moved on um, However, I do see you guys kind of looking back uh, Maybe even having a tendency to compare uh, Which is why spirit is saying try the best you can not to compare knowing and understand that it served that relationship served its purpose All right, what is the Oracle message here for Scorpio Sun Moon Rising Venus? Scorpio Sun Moon Rising Venus, okay, and we have I was careless with you so for a lot of you guys, you could have been in a relationship where the person perhaps was um, not nurturing. Perhaps they didn't appreciate everything you did for them or, um, you know, how you held it down for them. For some of you guys, it could have been that you not only, you know, supported them, it could have been emotionally, it could have been financially, whatever the situation was, you gave them the type of nurture that perhaps they weren't used to. Um and in that position, it made them, instead of being grateful, it made them selfish. Um, so, of course, um, what, what we're seeing here is them understanding or coming to the understanding that they were careless, that they were unappreciative of everything that you did for them or that you gave them in the relationship. I feel like there was a higher learning in this relationship or in this connection and I feel like both of you guys got what you needed to get from this relationship until it served its purpose and it was time to completely go on different paths, okay? All right, now let's go to Sagittarius. My lovelies, like I said, if you guys enjoy these readings, definitely comment below, let me know so I can keep them coming. All right, are you guys excited for Halloween? I am hell of excited. Oh my God, I love this time of year. Alrighty, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we have two cards that pop down. The Hierophant and the Five of Swords. Okay, I'm going to put them back. I don't feel them as strong, so I'm going to put them back in this. All right. Here we go. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Has their ex-lover or ex-partner moved on? Have they moved on from Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Have they moved on? All right, here we go. We have the King of Cups, the Knight of Wands, the Nine of Wands, the Eight of Cups. Okay. Alrighty. So I feel that this person that you were dealing with, Sagittarius, was 
really, they were overly emotional and overly emotional is not necessarily a good thing because people that have a tendency of not knowing how to control their emotions have a tendency of uh, a defense mechanism that usually goes towards escapism. So for some of you guys, your ex-partner, ex-lover could have some type of addiction, some type of difficulties. It could have been alcoholism. It could have been drugs. Um, it could have been any type of form of escapism to not deal with the everyday type of routine or responsibilities. This is a person that is very impatient. I feel like someone in this connection threw the flag, basically. It was like, when do I have to keep, you know, when do I have to keep going through this over and over and over. I feel like it could have been a, a cycle for some of you guys where there was a constant breaking up and separating and going back with each other and breaking up again. There was a pattern here. And I feel like some, I more than anything, I feel like this could have been you Sagittarius that broke that cycle by walking away from this relationship. When we talk about if this person has fully moved on from you, no, they haven't. They haven't moved on from you. I feel like they're still holding on um, to the thought or idea that you're coming back. But I don't see it in a very positive way. I feel like it has more to do because you've done it so many times in the past that they're thinking it's going to be one of those times. You know, it's going to be like it's always been. Uh, I feel like this person has a rude awakening or they're going through experiencing a rude awakening it's like you're not that hot of a shit that you thought you were type of energy it's like how dare Sagittarius not reach out to me how dare them not beg me to come back like there is something that's shaking them um and they're doubting they're still doubting that you're not going to come back basically I see them really wanting or expecting I should say they're expecting for you to come back or to reach out to them I haven't seen them like fully moved on. However, I feel like this person has more of following or thinking, thinking of a pattern that continuously keeps happening in this connection. So if you recently broke up with this person and it is a partner that you've continuously have gone on a, a never endless loop of breaking up and going back with each other, breaking up and going back. This is like a never ending cycle and it needs to stop Sagittarius and they're not going to walk away or they're not going to give up um, until you do. So what I mean by that is so long as you keep allowing them to come back into their into your life, they're going to continue to do so. And it's not that they want to be there. It's more of having dominions. It's more of, you know, I am handsome. I am attractive and I am a hot stuff so I can keep coming back into Sagittarius life whenever I want type of scenario. Um, like I said, there is a need for you to walk away or give up on this connection because if you don't, they're going to keep being persistent until the day comes that you love yourself enough to show them the fucking door. We teach people how we want to be treated by what you allow or what you let slide. And I feel like this person is very much, you know, I can come in and I can go out whenever I want out of Sagittarius life because, you know, they're bruised because I put them through hell and they don't want to give up on me because they want to hope for the best that it was worth it in the end when it's not. You need to walk away. All right, let's see what your final oracle card is here, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oracle card. Here we go. We have, we are not right for each other. I feel like they know this. And you may even know this yourself, Sagittarius. A lot of the times what I've experienced with thousands of clients is that a lot of the times we hold on to relationships not necessarily because they're good to us or because... We love them. A lot of the times is because we want the struggle. We want the difficulty. We want the heartbreak to be worth it in the end. 
So it has more of a desire of like wanting to feel validated and wanting to feel vindicated for everything that you've been through. And sometimes that's what leads people to hold on to relationships longer than they should have. All right, my lovelies. Okay. Now let's go to Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Has Capricorn's ex-lover or ex-partner moved on? Give us clarity. Give us insight. Give us clarity. Give us insight. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Has their ex-lover or ex-partner moved on? Oh. All right. So we have six and six. Okay. Two sixes. I'm going to put them back into the deck. Okay, so what I'm sensing from the six, uh, six of Swords and the Six of Pentacles is that there was a need to walk away from this relationship or this connection because you have a tendency or difficulty, I should say Capricorn. Um, you have a difficulty understanding that in order to give, you must also be willing to receive. I feel like you have a tendency of overdoing when it comes to relationships. And that could be why you choose to sacrifice too much or too long in a relationship. I'm going to put them back. Here we go. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Has their ex-lover, ex-partner moved on? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. One more. Capricorn. All right. Here we go. All right, the first card we have here is the Five of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the Page of Cups, and the Hermit. Okay, so have they moved on? No, they have not moved on, Capricorn, but what I can tell you is that this needed to end. Um, this was a relationship that was very hurtful, very painful. This could have been to you or it could have been to your partner. But I feel like competition or egos, like both your egos were too big um, to bring any type of balance to this relationship. And it was to the point where for some of you guys, you could have been very hateful and mean spirited to each other, that it created a very toxic environment within the relationship. Yes, there is still love there. There is still emotional, um, emotional connection there between both of you. But I feel like both of you guys at this point in time, there was a understanding that we're better off apart than being together. Page of Cups indicates to me, yes, they still hold feelings towards you. The Hermit indicates to me the wanting to find the reason or the purpose of why this relationship didn't work. So for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with the person that was extremely to toxic um, this was a person that was extremely aggressive or competitive. Uh, they had a tendency of always being in the right and they just couldn't be humble is what I'm hearing. So for some of you guys, it could have been that the person was a bit selfish. Um, but understanding the, the breakup or the separation brought to them understanding that you, in fact, were probably there more for them than anyone else has been. For others of you, it could have been that they realized that with you, you really took care of them, which whether it was financially, whether it was emotionally, whether it was spiritually, it's like you had their back. They understand that and that's the reason why they haven't fully moved on, but they've made peace with this breakup or with the separation because they understand ultimately that you deserved better Capricorn. All right, now let's see. What the Oracle cards say here for Capricorn, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is the final message here in regards to this situation, Capricorn? All right, we have, I fantasize about you. Yeah, I feel like this person um, still holds feelings towards you, Capricorn. Um, but there is an understanding, there is an awareness of what was wrong in the relationship, or what they where they dropped the ball as well as where you dropped the ball there's an understanding of that and i feel like they're still trying to understand the reason or the meaning behind the connection or why 
you came into their lives or why they came into your life at a certain point in you guys' life that was very important. So again, yes, they still are emotionally invested in you. However, I feel like they're getting closer to the understanding of being at peace with it. Okay. Now let's go to Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Has Aquarius ex-partner or ex-lover moved on from them? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, we have the Ten of Cups. The Queen of Wands. The King of Wands. Interesting. And the Six of Swords. Okay. So, yes, uh, Aquarius, I feel like this person has moved on from this connection, from this relationship. For some of you guys, you're already aware that they've either committed or gotten themselves into a serious monogamous relationship. For others of you, you're aware that they're married and clearly uh, they're trying to build and focus in this connection in their marriage or union here. As you guys can see, the queen and king looking at each other, which is um, indicative of a very perhaps deep or soulmate type of connection here. Um, I feel like for those of you guys that were dealing with a relationship where you tried over and over to make it work, you sacrificed a lot or you sacrificed even who you were to accommodate them. I feel that the reason why those, you know, the puzzle just didn't fit was because you guys served in each other's lives. It's the purpose the reason why you guys were together, that purpose was served. And the moment it was served, both of you guys had to go on your paths to find your happiness. And I feel like this person, you know, found uh, the person that was for them or the person that perhaps was waiting for them. Because for some of you guys, I'm hearing this is a person, it could have been that your ex went back to an ex or you're aware of this. Um... I feel like they had to grow, they had to mature, they had to experience in order to be able to give to them the commitment that initially they should have given to them. Um, so I'm going to be honest with you guys. I feel like this, if you know that your partner or ex-partner is in a marriage or is in a committed relationship and you're aware that they went back to an ex or something like that, I feel like they like they messed up they mistreated the person that they were with they moved on perhaps got with you and they ended up going back to the partner that was for them but i feel that unfortunately through this process i feel like the person that they are with now especially if it's an ex that they went back to i feel like they were mistreated because they weren't mature enough to give them the commitment that they allowed them to think they were having. I hope that makes sense. So they seem pretty moved on. All right, let's see what the Oracle message card is here for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oracle message here. And it is, I know I made a mistake. So, I'm going to be straightforward, Aquarius. If you were dealing with a partner that you knew was married, and maybe they told you it wasn't working out, maybe they told you, you know, we're living under the same roof, but we have nothing going on. By you continuing that relationship, you accepted the fact that they were in a committed relationship. And then they went back or they broke up with you and they ended up going back with the person that they said they had moved on from. I feel like the person, like your anger should not be directed to the person that they went back with. It should be directed to the, to them because their loyalty was with that other person. And I feel like they either betrayed them or hurt them to move on and do their life. But then they realized that they wanted to be with that person and they went back. So, and I'm feeling like some type of anger here. So like I said, 
if you were aware, even if you weren't completely aware of the whole picture, but you kind of figured, um, it's time to heal from this and it's time to move on from this because obviously you and I both know you deserve better than that. And this person that they're with now has gone through it with them as well. So I feel like the anger is misdirected. I hope that makes sense. All right, my lovelies. And finally, we are here with Pisces. Let's see. All right, let's look into Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Has Pisces ex-lover or ex-partner moved down from Pisces? Have they moved on at this point in time? Give us clarity. Give us insight. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, here we go. We have the Eight of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Immediately, Pisces, I can tell you that there is a lot of regret. There is a lot of resentment that they feel towards themselves for how they treated you. Um, they could have been double dealing or they could have stepped out of the relationship and they are regretful of that. King of Swords and the Ten of Swords. So yeah, I feel like for some of you guys, um, there's almost like this understanding that you're fully aware you deserved better. You're fully aware that they mishandled you or mistreated you. And this is something that they're going to have to deal with for the rest of their lives. Now, that's not something I say very lightly, you guys. But what is coming through is whatever they've done or whatever they've created, they will be a or a mirror will reflect to them their own karma. So I'm not sure what happened there. But for some of you guys, it could have been that they, you know, that they did cheat on you or mistreated you. Um, or took you for granted and they were very cold and very mean and ultimately they regret that they regret what they put you through they regret the pain and hurt that they caused you I don't see them moving on and I don't see them like fully being able to experience that type of connection that they had with you so this is the type of energy that I enjoy seeing when I know that they've mistreated my client or when I've known that they took them for granted, took them, you know, took advantage of them, of their good nature or their loving, kind heart. Um, this is the type of energy of a person that doesn't have the ability to stabilize any type of commitment in their life. This is the type of person that goes about life roaming from one relationship to another because they lack the focus to be able to nurture 100% one relationship to see it grow into something stable. This is like, uh, kind of like the saying, you know, roaming leaves, kind of like that. This is a person that craves you know and needs um inspiration and inspiration is is found in their passion in their um king of swords what's really standing out here is the sword to me the phallus so again it's a person that chases their passions their their that chases their whatever feeds their mind whatever keeps their mind focused is where their attention goes and unfortunately it's not attention that could be like drawn out for long period of time so this is a person that goes from one relationship to another and ultimately the type of person that ends up alone or ends up in a very unhappy relationship because they can do no better than that um not necessarily a good thing but hey if they mistreated you that's what the fuck they get all right Let's see what the Oracle's final message is here for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oracle's final message here for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, here we go. I lie to you. Yeah, that's the kind of energy I sensed based on, based on this fuckery here. Um, this is a person that has a tendency of layering when telling a story they layer right so that they won't be able to um 
later on if they get caught in their lies it's like they they speak very vaguely to the point that if you catch them in a lie or something you can't really confront them because they were so vague as to not get caught up in lies um yet they have a tendency or a keen to doing that um like i said this is a person that definitely has not moved on from you and they're not going to move on from you why because i see them continuously going from one relationship to another um really not learning and i feel like there is regret because perhaps you were the only one that truly genuinely loved them unconditionally so all right my lovelies i hope that this gives you guys insight i hope you guys enjoyed these readings of us being nosy together that's what matters <laughs> anyways i want to wish you guys the very best happy halloween and we'll see each other soon till then bye bye